Hi, my name is Max and I'm a PhD student and visited the System Dynamics Summer School in 2016 in Delft, the Netherlands. I think it was a great event and I'm happy to see that the System Dynamics Society is organizing a summer school in this year as well. So in case you are a student or a scholar interested in the System Dynamics methodology and you are considering to attend the summer school, here are my three top reasons why you definitely should go there. Firstly, you had four different tracks in which well-known system dynamicists were teaching different topics. The basic track provided an introduction to system dynamics for beginners within the field using the software PowerSim. And the lecturer was Len Malczynski, the 2017 president of the System Dynamics Society. The second track covered facilitated modeling in which Etienne Rawet, the 2016 president of the System Dynamics Society, and his colleagues Inge Bleichenberg and Monique Lanzu presented how group model building is working and how to use system dynamics to facilitate different stakeholder perspectives. Furthermore, the track offered a course on agile system dynamics. This was offered by Kim Warren, a former president of the System Dynamics Society and a Jay Forrester award winner. He presented his approach on how to involve clients into the modeling process using software Systea. He especially focused on how to transfer spreadsheet thinking into feedback thinking. The advanced track was provided by James Hewton, Jan Quackel and Eric Preud and his PhD students. They presented very advanced topics for system dynamics, including how Python can handle big data, deep uncertainty, and how to simulate several hundreds and thousands of model runs for robust policy design. There was a block on hybrid modeling combining system dynamics and agent-based modeling, and Jim Duggan presented how to use R for system dynamics. The intermediate track covered topics like deep uncertainty, the use of Python and system dynamics, which is by the way called PySD, advanced modeling issues, some group model building and model analysis. The intermediate track was a mix of the three tracks mentioned before, so attendees could decide on which lectures and workshops to attend. Thus, the summer school was offering an up-to-date system dynamics practice for each level of knowledge for the scholars. The second reason why the summer school is worth attending is that it is an amazing opportunity for networking. Especially when you are a first time attendee and you are planning to visit the System Dynamics conference as well. In that case you can connect with others and get to know scholars from all around the world who might actually face the same problems as you are and so you can figure out solutions together. Further, the close contact to the professors will give you the opportunity to talk and discuss about their research and the connection to your field. And since the professors are well connected within the System Dynamics community, they might refer you to persons within your specific domain. My last argument in favor of the summer school concerns the individual consultation. In 2016, some professors offered individual consultation for your modeling problem. That is extremely valuable because expert modelers and experienced researchers challenge your models and give you constructive feedback that you might need in order to advance your research. I think that these three arguments made the System Dynamics Summer School a very valuable experience for me. And this year's Summer School looks also like an amazing opportunity to boost your System Dynamics knowledge. The Summer School takes place at MIT and will offer two tracks an introductory course for those who have no prior knowledge of system dynamics and an advanced modeling course. So the summer school covers an intense introduction to system dynamics modeling, including conceptualization, formulation, testing, parameter estimation and policy analysis. And the list of lecturers include well-known scholars and practitioners within the field that are David Ford, Len Malczynski, Rogelio Oliver, Hajir Ramandat, Nelson Repenning, John Sturman, Jim Rogers, and Rob Nachtrieb. And by the way, there is also a limited amount of summer school scholarships. So what are you waiting for? Sign up and don't forget to apply for the summer school scholarships. And by the way, don't forget to sign up for the PhD colloquium, which will take place just after the summer school, one day before the conference starts. So hope to see you there. Bye.